What's good, good morning, family? family? It's your girl, Kia Marie. And it's your boy, Quick. And we back with another, back, back with another vlog for y'all. Welcome, Welcome to, to Vlogtober Day 22. Oh, y'all, we getting them days out of there, you hear me? <laughs> Y'all see, we got my boss. And my girl. My Jay. And my girl. Morning. Y'all, today is peace and tie-dye. Show on their shirt, say. Y'all see, shout out to Leah for their shirts. They look good, too. I like them. I might wear one of them. Don't worry, we'll check it out. Got big toot over there, cooler. Yeah. Y'all, we didn't even know Tudor was doing it. Y'all, two of them school never sent no information home about stuff like this. Yeah, they they tell the kids, and he told me at the last minute I had already ordered the shirt. Right. So, the only reason he had red shirt on, because of course he had it, so red in it. But my shirt tied out, y'all, so I might let Tudor wear my shirt. So, we do got the final Oh, yeah. But, y'all, what was I going to say? Oh. Y'all see, Mario don't have on a jacket. I said, girl, it's cold. I don't need no jacket. I was born in December. <laughs> Showing out. I said, okay. And her army, you talking about you responsible, but look, look what I just brought out the house because you left it on the counter. Mm-hmm. And, and you can't tell your teacher no juice in there. Okay. <laughs> Put it on Y'all, we running late this morning. <laughs> they already ate breakfast, so I guess it's going to be better. Tell me what you cook for them, eh? Hold up, Harmony. Y'all, I had got up at uh, <laughs> by my alarm when I was at 5:30. I said, "Forget oh, this." I laid there. <laughs> I got up about 5:40. I cooked them some sausage and beef for y'all. They smashed it. Well, Tootie, some of the ain't like the sausage, but it's the same exact sausage he eat from McDonald's. The girls tore it up. I ain't thought you were gonna cook that one, baby. The girls went to work on it. Why well, you thought I ain't thought that? Cause that's the um sauce you said you, you bought for him, ain't it? But well, yeah, I did. Okay. Oh, Harmon, let me see you trip out right quick. Trip out. Harmon ain't right here. Two, come on. Oh, ah, I ain't even asked you today, man. That stuff you doing ain't even it. <laughs> Y'all, we running a little late. We running a little late. Y'all gotta get these kids to school, so we out of here. Right here. I don't know, you gotta find a way to do it. I can't, you won't stop doing it. Hey, more family. He wanna, he wanna play, y'all. Yeah, we finna, uh, we hit, as, we hit the Columbus right now as we speak. Yeah. I don't know what all we finna do, but we got some packages and stuff to, yeah. look, to um, return. I don't know, like I said, I don't know what I'll be doing, but I know we probably hit the model. I want to get some shoes and some more stuff. Yeah, so. and I need to go to Ultra Beauty because I need some old makeup brushes. Y'all, um, what was I going to say? Oh my goodness. Your makeup ain't right. What you going to say? No. I, I thought you were because you told your kitty game. I, thought I you know was, that. Uh, I just told the to channel. To be, my channel, I didn't like my makeup. I don't. I, I ain't use the brushes I use, and I use a different foundation, and I don't like it. I think she used a hair brush or something, right? Oh, I forgot this foundation on my head. But, oh, uh, I can't remember what I was going to say. Oh, he surprised me, y'all. Wait, um, I had a lot of stuff in my shed cart, y'all. And he's sneaky, like, oh, I'm sleeping stuff. He going through my phone. It went through my shins, so he got everything I had in the shins. I ain't going through my phone, jumping through her shins. She, she, she it's ain't just still right. through my phone, man. You ain't telling it right. Still went through my phone while I was asleep. He been did this like, what, beginning of the month? About you stay around the 8th. Oh, yeah. Home. Let me tell the story, y'all, because can't nobody tell it like me. So, he went, what the? They didn't take this line to the shop. Stuff coming out like that, but anyway, y'all, he um went through my shin car. He went through my phone, hmm. and he uh, <laughs> he bought everything that I had in my shin car. So he surprised me with all the stuff I had in there, y'all. So some of the stuff, as y'all can see, we gotta take back because I some stuff too big, and some stuff uh it was the wrong size. So we gotta go over here and do that. And like he said, y'all, we done been to the gym and everything. We ain't even ate nothing. We haven't ate nothing. Y'all see my brows different. This one look thicker and this one just not too much. 
Y'all know them brass don't be like, at least mine. So, um, yeah. And y'all was having a conversation this morning about Tootie. Well, Tootie talk about he want a phone. And y'all know he just turned 12 this month and he don't have a phone. And he's still not finna get a phone right now. Because we, babe, come on, help me out now. We about the phone situation. Yeah, Number we, one, he not responsible enough yet. He not. He really not, y'all. To this day, get in trouble about some stuff. He get. He was getting in trouble about when he was seven and eight. And yeah. Just turned twelve. Yeah. So, and number one, we our kids weren't having our phone. We 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 don't we don't follow the way. Not saying it's a problem, but we ain't getting our kids phone just because other kids got phone and their yeah. friends got phone. Now they didn't ask. But they don't even ask no more because they know. They know, like, nah, they, they ain't get no phone. They ain't get no phone. And, but Tudor ready, y'all, Tudor a teenager now. He was talking to me about he's it. He's not before. a teenager. I mean, not now. He finna be he's a, a preteen. He finna be a teenager next year. He talking to me about a phone. Now I really want a phone. This and that. I told Tudor, you gotta show me some improvement. You gotta show me somewhere I see. Now you ready for a phone. He yeah. ain't showed me that yet. He gotta show me that. And y'all, I did a trick question on him this morning to see was he ready. So I was like, Tootie, you yeah, can't. Give me that camera. You can't hold that camera and dry. I got it, baby. No. I, I got this. No. I've been dry since for you. I yeah, got this. But, but I got a hundred trail. We got you had more rig than me. I ain't never had a rig. Kid, you hit them four cars. Back. That's not a oh, rig. I, I had one. I, I rigged too big to do it. Yeah. <laughs> you leave that alone. See, uh, exactly. I never had a rig, baby. Me either. Babe. I did the same thing you did. I hit some out of vehicle. <laughs> I hit you a, hit, I hit you a, ran a, a different phone, didn't it? I never had a rig. hit me. Well, yeah, you kept going, so he ain't damn close. Yeah, he ain't damn close. He my rig. Well, we never, never one of us ever had a rig. Let's say that. Yeah. But uh, my record cleaner than yours. I don't really know. You crazy? I drive way better than you. Quit. You got you had tickets and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah I did. So yeah, anywho. That dad the police though. He got out of the house. No, he didn't. My dad ain't never got me out of nail. So I ain't had none. So anyway, let's get let's stay on topic. So I was telling Tootie, I did a trick question, as in I was like, um. If you get a phone, you can't just be letting everybody see your phone because they want to see your phone. I say, I bet you, if somebody say, Quentin, let me see your phone, I'll give you $50, you will let them get your phone. I'm going to want that $50. Yeah, I'm so, that, I'm that $50. that's a trick. So, you ain't ready can't for no that, phone. Son, I can't do that. You can't just be letting folks get your phone. And not only that, y'all, we personally feel like this. At a certain age, I don't care about them. Oh, they want a phone. It's a, I feel like it's an age limit when they ready for a phone. It's too much on the internet that they be DK be looking at. Yeah, and let me say this again, y'all. It really ain't no, it really ain't no age requirement to a, a phone. Preference. I ain't gonna say that, yeah. So, so no, no shade to the parents that kids yeah, got phones. Yeah. We ain't got nothing to do with it. That's how we raise our household. Yeah. But like I said in the other video, y'all, the kids gonna get to that age. It's coming. It's life. They gonna get there. Where they gonna get a phone? But they not finna have no phone while they live. Like, for what? I don't understand it. And y'all know, I used to braid hair. I had braided hair for four years. And some of the stuff, like when I was braiding kids hair, I'm talking about little, some of the stuff they was looking at, I used to be like, your mama let you watch that? And they be like, yeah. And it, I seen some kids, when they parent come, and I asked them, and they were like, oh yeah, they be watching that. And to me, it was it was not age appropriate for a child. For a child, so that's what I'm saying. It be stuff that kids be watching, and then not on that. I just seen a lot of kids when I'm doing that hair. They scrolling on TikTok and looking at certain stuff. And me being me, I'm like, uh, -uh boo, don't look at that. And they'll scroll, so that's why, uh, uh. And then I done heard people how they talk about they went through their kids' phone and seeing this, seeing how they were texting and all this. It bad enough they got an iPad. They can pretty much do the same thing. Right. But we, baby, I be looping through. You just ain't getting no phone yet. And yeah, I gotta pay do. a phone bill and do all this and that. We do run-throughs on my iPad, like, like for real. Yeah. For real. So, what do y'all think about kids having phones? What age limit do y'all think? And I know some some mom excuse they ain't got to go to school, baby. We went to school. Yeah, so that's we on the first no thing they gonna throw out there. I don't wanna hit it. Now I. Can see like, if your kid in sport and they text you and they get ready, it, but it's still ways around it. Yeah. Like, but hey, y'all still gotta realize this too, y'all. These kids are different. They way different when we grew up. Like, like for real, they way sneaky and all that. 
Yeah. We didn't see this stuff with our own eyes. I'm not lying. Right. So. And, and I'm not. We're not the type of parent to be like. Like I know my child. I know. I know them. Like I know them. But then I. I still. I'm not the child that be like. Uh. Uh. My child will do that. Yeah. You're not the parent. Yeah. Hey, you never but know I what still kids. Know my kids. You never know what kids are doing when they from around their parents. All kids got sneaky squeaking. I don't care how good they are, how nice they are. When they get from around them parents. It's the stuff they'll do that they just wouldn't do around their parents. So like she said, we ain't the type of parents like, no, nah, you a lie. I know my child ain't gonna do that. I know my child ain't gonna do this. But, you but what my you child do know, if we find out, I'm gonna tell that <laughs> up. And that, that ain't no lie. Like, yeah, cause like sometimes some people, uh, I done seen a couple come in and like, oh, y'all gotta let them be kids. You can't we do. tell. We let them be kids, but, but they, but we they ain't racing them. no hood rats and no thugs and no little gangsters in there. We got structure. And not only y'all like, kids are disciplined. Y'all, y'all kids gotta have some type of fear of y'all to to not want to act up and do stuff around y'all or from around y'all. Like, I, well, well, when he say that he ain't talking about this, y'all, y'all know what he's saying. You know how some folks be. Like, as in, like, like me, I was not a bad child. In school, come back. I knew my dad was gonna tell my dog. exactly. So that's I knew the not to do me. That's how our kids are. They know not to even play to that extent. Yeah. But they a kid. They have fun. They know they love. They know all of it. Yeah. But they know. Mom and dad. They just know mom and dad ain't finna play. But like, but none no, of that crazy stuff. Stuff that you ain't got no. You ain't got no business doing. doing. They know that. That's why we said we old school parents, but not to the point where. You get no wolf by no everything. We ain't pull out no, no stitch cards or no none, none of that, man. We don't do that, y'all. Like I had to, like the kids say, y'all, the last time the kids got a whooping, it was 2022. But then, right at, uh, hold on, was it 23? It was 2022. They were all 2023 without getting a whooping. But January, no, December the 31st of 2023, all three of them had did something in that. It was bad. So they got a whooping, but they, they kids ain't had a whooping since then. So do the math. They don't. We don't have to sit there and just whoop on our kids. You know, somebody. Oh, you shouldn't whoop. Oh, baby, you do some good enough. You get. You get that little butt. Baby, look, yeah. look at the camera. Just black. I mean, it like that because you buy them trees. It's been good lighting right here the whole time. But you can't just not. Get on their tail when they need it. That's just all too much. Yeah, at the end of the day, them kids got to get disciplined the right way. They the future. Look, we yeah, yeah, look, we got we be around certain kids right now. The parents don't discipline them, and it shows. Oh yeah. It shows and like crazy. Like, and I keep be looking at them like, ain't no way they doing it. I, Cause our kids, we bring them up right, y'all. All you, the best thing you can do is bring your kids up right and set them, set them up for the future. Yeah, uh, uh, in any type of way, the best way you can. They got to have that structure, y'all. Like I said, you a thing like, oh, they be telling them kids. No, our kids don't. We can literally say our kids don't get whooping. They do not get whooping because we don't have to. Because they already they, know. We can look one way and they That's know. Oh, they we're trying to get in line. Like, exactly. Uh -huh. Y'all, our kids, like yesterday, too, told me. That uh, sister such in my classroom, he be cussing, and I know the little boy, and I be, and when I see the little boy, he be talking to me, <laughs> they're talking like respectable, like he a little good little boy, but from around them parents, around his friends at school, Tuesday he be cussing like a dog, just cussing. More told me the same thing, Dad, them kids in my class be cussing. I said, but don't, don't y'all pay that no mind. Yeah. I said, some kids act, act up like that when they get around their parents. I said, they, they, they'll eventually get in trouble. The teacher's teacher going to hear them, the parents going to get them. I said, but don't y'all worry about that. Y'all just don't cuss. Well, damn, you ain't got to worry about me cussing. I ain't finna do that. I said, you know what cuss words is, though, don't you? So like, yeah, yeah I know. Not. But I ain't finna say them. <laughs> Let me say which one I know the most. Harmony? And don't go harmony. Somebody say something, she be like, be quiet, harmony. Like, she know. So yeah, we ain't saying they don't know. Cause they know, like I'm telling y'all, I remember I was like five or six years old. I knew all kind of stuff, like, but I, I went from the scene saying say it and do it. Exactly, like, y'all. Ain't the point of knowing stuff is the point that you got, it's the, of doing it. Yeah. Cause kids gonna, y'all, kids pick up on stuff easy. Y'all know all those kids before. Pick up on stuff easy. And it, it, whether you say it or not, it be, it be in your brain. And when y'all get mad, a lot of stuff be want to come out you. Yeah, so you can't I say you know. I imagine because so bad. Yeah, I ain't like y'all. I think I, I was in the fourth or fifth grade. Oh wait, I ain't gonna lie. I was the first from the first to third grade. I was hearing kids cuss like crazy. I think I got in the fourth grade. That when I started saying the cuss word every now and then. When I got in the fifth grade, I thought I was a big dog. I really started cussing in and just went on, on from there. 
I, I, I can remember y'all. I'm talking about I'm like probably third or four. I don't know. I was always quiet. Like I had my set of people that I talked to and food with. But baby, you do something else, say something, I would cuss them out so bad. Like people remember me now from high school. Like Shay, the girl that cut his hair. He, she tell him all the time, Kiara ain't playing no game. She'll cuss you out so like baby. So I know how how kids yeah, be like. Yeah, like that now. Yeah, that's why I, I think that's But I was quiet in school, y'all, but some yeah, for some reason some guys tried to pick on me sometimes in school. Y'all just cuss them song under our soul bad and be ready for them song gonna touch me in any way. They wouldn't make a move. <laughs> they wouldn't make a move, never. Yeah. I ain't the one to play with. They always try to pick on the quiet kid. And they think you ain't gonna do it. The quiet kid will set that whole dang that dang classroom off. <laughs> <laughs> that was me for real. Like when I get mad, man. I don't like something to make me mad for real because I ain't gonna tell you what I do. I'm just saying. You know, some of them, oh, they think they bad. I never thought, thought I was bad. I just know what I do when I'm mad, and I don't never like to be too. And to plus, me, mm -hmm. my hands are whipping, y'all. I'm certified in this stuff. Like, what are you laughing for? I'm I trained on one of, I mean, I trained on the best. <laughs> I trained on one of the best, y'all. I, I can snap y'all fingers so quick. I'm talking about literally snap it out of play. Like, Day. Yeah. Well, y'all, what do y'all think? Like I said, yeah, God, comment down below. When it comes to raising kids, like I want my kids to be a kid, and I let them be a kid and express themselves oh, and yeah. all of that. But and, you got to have structure. And y'all, let this is another thing we do. I don't know if uh, other parents do it or not. We do it. Y'all, we sit down and talk to our kids, and we yeah. let them know their opinion matter. We, yeah. you know, we do all it. We let we let our kids fully in on the conversation. Like, what y'all think about this? What y'all think we should do about this and this and that? Yeah. Or uh, sometimes we ask them, "Where y'all want to go out of town? What y'all want to do when we go get here?" Man, we they do all it. Honey, they are we, loved, they, 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 they and they know that. They always they know this parents I ever had. Baby, yeah, they love. Parents. Yeah, they love saying that, y'all. Most of them when they doing something. <laughs> yeah, uh huh. They this the best they ever. Y'all, yeah. they, they they not hard to please. That's uh -huh. why we make sure we show them we love them and yeah, we try. I, I'm gonna take the word. I've been trying to take the word try out of my vocabulary. That's why we giving them the world and making their life better because they deserve. Like they made us better people. Oh so. yeah, hey, amen. And y'all, not only I that. Them through, baby. Not only that, y'all. Our kids and already did most stuff that we didn't did and oh, we was they kids have. already. I ain't know nothing about going out of town now, little. I ain't never been out of town my little. All this stuff I done did, y'all. I made it happen. We had made it happen on my own, me and my wife. We made yeah. stuff happen. Well, I ain't never go out of town when I was little. I ain't know what that was. I ain't know what a beach look like. I ain't know I ain't know none of that, y'all. So we like that's our goal to give them the life we never had. Exactly. And show them it's more to life than where you from. Exactly. And they not already spent they yeah. done been in a couple places, y'all. Yeah. We got a very good surprise coming up for them. Oh yeah. We ain't gonna speak on it yet. Oh uh, yeah. We gotta wait till we get it all the way in motion and we still ain't gonna speak on it until so, yeah, so we, we really, we really, really gonna surprise them with this. Like this gonna be big for them, y'all. Yeah. And I'm so excited. I be so ready to see their faces, y'all. Like, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. So. they finna be it, y'all. But y'all, we just made it to Columbia. We ain't gonna hold y'all too long. I'm like, I'm acting like the um, um Reverend and Church. We ain't gonna hold y'all too long. And no, you finna talk no 15 minutes. <laughs> what? I be so mad. I think that's why I quit going to church. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all. We done made it back to the country and pick the kids up and everything, y'all. Man, my baby had a real successful day today. Yeah. Real busy day today. And we got another one tomorrow, y'all. But yeah. we finna uh hold up y'all. I learned my list. But you got something to say for you as well? <laughs> um, we may think we might start another vlog tonight. Most definitely, y'all. Most yeah. likely. We're gonna start mm -hmm. uh day twenty three tonight. Yeah, yeah, because um the kids' packages and stuff supposed to be coming today. Yeah, they hadn't made it in yet. And y'all, once they get here, I know they gonna want to see it today. They ain't gonna want to wait till tomorrow. Exactly. And we want to get their reaction and stuff like that. So y'all may see us in these clothes tomorrow. On day 23. On day 23. Plus, like, I'm so, t I'm tired. Y'all got a headache and everything. So, sometimes, but well, we ain't really did it often, but sometimes we try to, well, I'm going to say before we have started a vlog, the night before when we know we're going to have, like, a busy day, right. just so we don't miss. Because some people are like, y'all, take a break this night. But, y'all, it's a challenge. It's Vlogtober. Right. The challenge is to vlog for 31 days straight. So, we try not to miss a day. We only miss one day. So, I think this very, 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 very great. For us, especially because this is our first time actually doing it. 
Blocktober. Yeah, we've we tried it in the past. Yeah. But this is our first time actually going through with it, so this is different for y'all. Yeah, we like, loving it though, but it, this stuff, you know, kind of tiring. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, after so long, after them two weeks, you get tired. But I think it, it'll be different for us if we was in our own space. So we really didn't push through everything for y'all. Like all obstacles, y'all. Board days, not being in our own space, not all having it. room. Like all we didn't push through all of it. So. With that being said, we hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. All right. As always, we love you guys. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn, turn on, on post notifications, notifications, and share this with lit. And that's on our family. family.